Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69 and welcome back to the channel. Before we get onto the video, this video is sponsored by Amazon App Store. If you haven't downloaded Amazon App Store yet, go download it. Go download World of Tanks Blitz from the Amazon App Store to get yourself 500 uh, coins for free. That equals 1,000 gold in game the links are in the, de in the description make sure you use the link um, to represent your country either the UK or the US you'll you can save yourself up to 20% by using the Amazon App Store against the Google Play Store and the iOS so it's worth doing go download it and save yourself some money let's get back to the video so today we're took, taking a look. Tukin, tukin, tukin. Today we are taking a look at the KV4. It's a tank that it's never very. It's never been very popular. It's never been that popular. People, for some reason, do, uh, don't like this tank. Um, they. It's never been strong, strong enough to compete against those uh, tier eights and tier nines. But a few updates ago, Wargaming buffed this tank. Wargaming buffed the armor profile on this tank. And I've got to say, the tank is a very, very good tank. The only thing I don't like about the tank is the the hatch on top, I think, is a bit, uh, bit too weak. Um, but this tank is the side-scraping king. It really is. I, I honestly believe this is the side-scraping champion in world of tanks blitz and that's why I've, I've called it the side scraping champion because it is so good it is so freaking good you can over angle you can angle you can face hug side hug you can bounce almost anything that comes your way when you are in those side scraping positions um the downfall with the tank is very, very slow. It's very slow. Uh, it doesn't have a great gun. Uh, it doesn't have a great gun, but it has all the armor to make up for it. Now, if you've seen my previous videos in tanks such like super heavy tanks, um, this I can pretty you can pretty much add into those super heavies. It's not a tank that goes frontline to deal as much damage as possible. If you can get yourself in a position where you are side scraping what you're doing even though you're not doing any damage what you're doing is you're taking the attention of the enemy team so we are in a bad position there so we're just going to adjust ourselves we know that there is a tank up there so we're just going to adjust ourselves we're going to side scrape uh, i mean we've got nothing protecting us um, but we're just going to side scrape into this kind of position now what we've done is we've taken out a light tank from the game because all he wants to do is focus us now it is a four versus four I've not got the greatest of guns. I've got not, I've not got the greatest of DPMs, um, and I've got not I've not got the greatest of speed. So we are winning on cap points. We've got the cap points, and so I'm not looking to go fight anyone. I'm looking at just holding the line, taking a gun out of the game, and I mean we are getting shot, but so eventually I am going to have to move. But I'm still taking this guy out. I'm still allowing my team to to rack up those supremacy points now when i have the opportunity of course i'm going to try and and shoot the fv301 uh, and i'm hopefully going to take him out when he exposes his tank um but no need to there was no need so we don't do a lot of damage this game at all but what we do do is we bounce 1500 damage and the way we done it is we that that was a light tank that we held into that position because he's seeing okay i have shots on this kv4 i'm going to try and take him and he struggled he did struggle and we have taken a light tank out now three uh two td or two heavy tanks and a uh, a td against a couple of light tanks is not good especially when it is supremacy we needed just to hold the line as as long as possible and that is what we do. And now the enemy, we managed to, to take the enemy out. Just this KV-4 left. So we are going to use the HE. Uh, doesn't do the greatest of damage. 326. And our defender, I think, uh, or is it the ISU. Uh, one of them takes him out and we get the win. And we won that because we held the line. I mean, we only got a second class, but we do get the steel wall. Uh, we held the line. It's not about doing damage in this this tank. It's I basically class this tank as a super heavy. Frontline super heavy that is just holding the line 
taking the shots because you can take shots. Um, obviously, if you are getting penned, adjust yourself. You can. It doesn't matter what tier you're in. You can be up against tier nine. You could be up against tier seven, whatever. As long as you've got your angles right, you can balance anything that pretty much comes your way. So we're going to get a nice shot there into the Amex uh, CDC. And just because I say it's not a tank that is out to deal damage, doesn't mean you can't, you can't deal damage. I mean, I've got a replay or I've shown a replay that's over 6,000 damage in, in this tank. So any tank is capable of doing damage. Any tank. Doesn't matter what tank you're in. A TD light tank, heavy, whatever. Any tank is capable of doing damage. And of course, if you've got shots, you should try and take out the, the enemy when, when you can. But that is, for me, with this tank, that is not the main role of this tank. Each tank has pretty much a different role, depending on the play style of the tank. Of course, you have mediums, light tank. The role is to open up the enemy, spot them for your team, and allow your TDs at the back of the map to get the shots off. And it allows your heavy tanks at the front to take the shots um, instead of the enemy facing the mediums or the enemy facing the TDs. Your role in a tank like this is to take the damage or to take the shots at least. Now, here we are going to come out sideways. We, we are a little bit silly. We are going to come out sideways. But I have my team with me. I have two other heavies with me. Um, we're basically sharing hit points. So we're going to wait, we're going to take a shot on the T29, and we're, we're going to pull back. And then when the IS is reloaded, he's going to pull forward, and I'm pretty much just hiding behind him. There's no reason for me to pull back um, when he's sitting in my way. So we do manage to clear this, all three of us. We have, we've bounced, doing so, we've actually bounced, we've actually bounced the uh, 760 damage. And now we can focus on these tanks here. Now, the you can see... Because of the angle we are at, this AMX is going to find it very, very, very difficult to pen us. He hasn't got the greatest of pen. Now, I'm thinking, do I shoot HE? I did. Uh, it didn't pay off. So, again, we're not going to do the damage uh, we was hoping for. We're still on 2.5k damage. We're still doing okay. Um, and we have only bounced sort of 920. But that bounce, them bounces were important. They're important to the team, and we're still going to get a couple of kills, and we are still going to sort of get ourselves up to 3k damage. So the KV-4, when playing the KV-4, you really need to think about how you play the tank. You need to play it correctly. It is a side-scraping champion. It is definitely the, a tank to go side-scraping and Find a wall. Go find a wall as close to the enemy as you can and side scrape. The more your tank, the enemy shoot at you, the less they are shooting your team. Hope you enjoyed it guys. I'm Meadzy and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.